Hey guys, in our previous lectures, we have discussed a lot about profit and loss. We have discussed the concept of profit and loss, the cost price, the selling price, and of course, lots of other formulas. What we didn't cover was one very simple term, which is overhead charges. Now, to understand this particular term, we'll have to consider a situation. Consider a situation in which you have purchased a bike and for that bike, you have paid X rupees. Now, according to you, that bike, it's not running quite well. And before putting it to use, you thought that why don't, you know, you should just make it go to a mechanic and get it all worked up. And for all that repairing work, the mechanic charged you Y rupees. So you of course paid that amount to the mechanic. Now, your bike has now been put to use, but before that, what it has cost you? X rupees for purchasing it, while the remaining Y rupees for repairing it. Now, these Y rupees, which you have spent on its repairing work, they come under the overhead charges. So whatever extra you pay for any particular commodity or any article, be in its repair or in its manufacturing or anything, those are termed as overhead charges. And in case of overhead charges, the new cost price or you can say the cost price new is actually equal to the cost price plus the overhead charges. So this is how the overhead charges actually increases your cost price and now the selling price which you'll have to consider well, if you want profit, of course, you'll have to take in consideration the selling price by taking this cost price new as the reference. So let's say if this was X and this was Y rupees, then your actual cost price is X plus Y rupees. And now if you want to make profit, sell it above this. So let us now see a question by which we can understand this overhead charges in a much better way. The question is, a shopkeeper purchased a second-hand car for Rs. 1,40,000. He spent Rs. 15,000 on its repairs and painting and then sold it for Rs. 1,70,000. Find his profit or loss percent. So now, in this particular question, you can see that this car has been purchased for 1,40,000 rupees. So this means the first information which is given to us is the cost price. The cost price is given to us as 1,40,000 rupees. But, now there's a big but here and the reason is that this guy has to spend rupees 15,000 on its repairs. So this means that these are the overhead charges of that guy, of this shopkeeper. So this means I can say that this particular value, in this particular value we can consider that the overhead charges well, the overhead charges are 15,000 rupees, which have been, which have been spent on its repairs and painting. So since these two values are my cost price only, so I'll get a new cost price now, the cost price new, which will be equal to 1,40,000 plus 15,000 rupees. And when you'll add both these terms, you'll see that your new cost price is 1,55,000 rupees. So now you have your cost price, effective cost price, which is considered as the new cost price here. And the unknown thing here is the profit or loss percent. Before that, you can see that we have also been given the selling price and the selling price is 1,70,000 rupees. So I can clearly see that if I consider this amount and this amount, then in this particular amount, the selling price is well more than the cost price. So I can say that since selling price is greater than the cost price therefore it is the case of profit and since it is the case of profit we can definitely find out the value of this profit by calculating it as selling price minus cost price when we will do that by substituting the values of selling price and cost price we'll get 1,70,000 minus 1,55,000 which will give us 15,000 rupees. And thus I can say that the profit of this guy is 15,000 rupees. But we have to find out the profit percent and for profit percent, what we can simply do, this profit percent is actually equal to profit upon cost price new. Here, an important thing is that we always consider the total cost price in the denominator. And in this particular case, the total cost price is actually the sum of the cost price and the overhead charges. 
so it will be one lakh fifty five thousand rupees. The profit which is given to us is fifteen thousand, and the selling the cost price here. Well, the cost price here is one lakh fifty five thousand, and this will be multiplied with the hundred. Now we can cancel out these two zeros with these two zeros, and this one zero with this one zero right here. What we are left with is fifteen hundred upon one fifty five. But we already know that both these numbers they are multiples of five, so we'll cancel out them. This will become three hundred. This will become thirty one, and so I can say that my profit percent of this particular case is three hundred upon thirty one percent. So we can say that this is the required profit percent. So. With this, we have come to the end of our chapter. You've seen all the terms now, which are related to profit and loss. We will see each other in our next class with a new topic. But until then, keep practicing and have fun. Goodbye, guys. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.